Hey there, I'm Kyle Walden. Welcome to another episode of High Desert Heathenry. In this episode, I'm specifically reviewing the Schrade Old Timer Whittling Carving Knife. So, this is really cool. It's actually got a lot of different blades, uh, and I'm actually gonna go through and show them all to you, and I'm gonna carve here on this chunk of wood just to specifically test the sharpness of the blades and see how well they actually do their job. So let's check it out. Okay, so here it is. I've been wanting to do this review for at least a week now, so I'm really happy I'm getting around to it. So I actually don't know the names of a lot of these blades. I am not super knowledgeable on carving. I'm just really getting into it and starting to enjoy it. So I need to educate myself better on what the names of each blade type is. But just so you can see, it's like a sheep's foot blade, but it's got like a steeper kind of scanty grind on the edge. That way you can really cut into the wood. We've got a couple here that I would assume are made for like really nice notching, things of that nature. I'm really happy with, uh, I, I messed around with this of course, you know, a little bit, but I'm really happy with it overall, other than the fact that these blades are not that sharp. I really, really wish these were, you know, sharp. That's how the carving knives are supposed to be. I do have a Beavercraft uh, carving kit as well, and I haven't really gotten a chance to use that at all. But it's, you can just feel how much sharper that kit is than this is. But overall, for being able to have this, just toss it in your bag, go back and carve out like forks, spoons, whatever you need to. Um, it's really awesome. I will tell you right now, aside from the dullness, these do bend. They bend up and down just because they're really thin. The other thing is they don't lock. So if you're carving and this folds and you stab yourself in the hand, it's gonna suck. So you gotta be really, really careful on how you use this. Um, I did actually go through and try to make some cuts with these ones, in which I was kind of scooping like this. I kept feeling that I had to put so much pressure into it that I was worried about coming back and then slicing this hand, holding the piece of wood. So with that, um, either A, sharpen them yourself, maybe wear uh, cut-proof gloves or something if you're really concerned. If not, just go for it. So here again, go ahead and just take a look at it for what it is. And then I'm gonna test each blade for you just to show you the kind of cut it's capable of and how well it actually cuts. So overall, you can see it's flattening it out pretty good. This is actually not too bad. I find that when you really want to take big chunks off though, this is knife is not meant for that. You should not be trying to like really gouge in there and get a lot of wood with this knife, just bit by bit. And I think uh, it'll carve successfully. That's decently good. Here, this is like a flat chisel. Oh, see, that almost just folded a little bit. It started to do that when I was pressing on it. So you really need to be careful about how you're uh, utilizing these tools. And mainly the ones where you're pressing forward, like this. Because you can see it almost doesn't even line up like perfectly straight with the handle, so it wants to close a little bit. Gotta make sure that you're holding it safely. Another thing on the note of holding a carving knife safely, don't ever set things on your leg and do this. And I know that sounds dumb, but many people have done it and they'll slip off, they'll stab themselves in the leg and hit their artery, and then you just bleed out. Don't be dumb, don't do that. Keep, you know, always cut away from yourself, and if you need to press on something, like maybe set it down on another board, on a piece of wood or something, where you're not gonna stab your blade into rocks or something, but you know, keep it away from you. Don't get cut. Let's go ahead and test out this scoop here. Ooh, see this does not feel good. I have to find a way to hold this so I don't come back and hit myself because this scoop is actually quite dull. And I'm not really a, a fan of actually even using it at this point because it is really that dull, it's not good. It 
So here's like a smaller version of that scoop. So here's like a smaller version of that scoop. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. So that, I'm actually a little bit happier. You can see the little hole I just started making with this thing. This one is actually surprisingly quite a bit sharper than the bigger scoop. The other one was quite dull, so I really like this one. That's nice. We've got this here, making like sharp notches with that corner part. That one also worked quite well at doing its job, just using the corner of it there to really get in there and scoop that notch out. That actually worked very nicely. Now I've got this guy. It's like the flat chisel, but he scooped. So I'm trying to carve a couple notches in here with him, or at least a big notch. I'm weary about pressing very hard on this while I carve with this guy because I don't want it to fold in and stab me in the hand because it's got the same issue as the actual flat chisel does and that it can it can do that and fold. Maybe just put your finger up here, hold it and block it from doing that, I don't know. Overall, this one is not doing a bad job either. It's getting uh, quite a little scooped out spot right there as well. So I'm happy with this overall. You know, like some of these blades, like I said, you gotta be careful. They do need to be sharper, no doubt. Um, that's the only disappointing thing really. That and the, the folding on your hand, I don't want that to happen. But yeah, Schrade old timer carving knife here. It was able to produce those little, you know, notches and stuff in this little start of a hole in no time, really. And I haven't done a lot of carving, but I figure I'm just figuring out how the how this knife's gonna work for me, you know. Cool. Go ahead and take one last look at that. You want to know the price? You're gonna have to look it up. Sorry, guys. It was actually a gift. And I have not looked up the price on this thing. So uh, I just wanted to really test it out and see what it was all about. And here it is. You know, if you want to get one, pick one up. I would recommend it because I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this uh, out at camp. And I think it might be able to help me on certain small tasks, making tent stakes, maybe making pieces for traps. Uh, who knows? I think this is going to be a really unique and useful tool. And it's a lot more compact than carrying a big roll of carving knives with a leather straw. But here it is. Schrade old timer carving knife. All right, everybody, pretty much sums it up. You guys got to see the performance of those blades and how that thing works. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found it informative. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at hideoutheathenry at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day. Skull to you, the viewers, and skull to the great outdoors. Catch you next time.